How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption. This is Contemption Gaming. We're at the Ancient Runes. We're going to be talking about honor and crystals, how to chain barbs. We're going to talk about gathering. We're going to talk about barb forts and the bastions. So stick around. We got lots to come. All right, let's get into it. The Ancient Runes just opened. We are in the uh, Chronicles here. This is what we get if we get three Stalkers. Everybody should be able to get three Stalkers as long as you're paying attention. I already missed one spawn, so I've got one out of three. I've got a bunch more chances, so it should not be an issue. But let's take a look. Um, we've obviously captured it. There's nobody else in the area, so only our coalition is there, which is why we've been able to capture it. Uh, sometimes you have to clear people out if they're from different alliances. We got stalkers arriving in a minute and 36 seconds. So we'll just go over how to get those quickly so that you can finish the Chronicles and then move out of the way so that other people can get them. Because everybody's fighting over getting this Chronicle finished because you have one chance um, for your ancient runes to come and get that finished. So we'll go over that right now. All right, the stalkers should be spawning any second now. Yep, we got 15 seconds till they come. We're going to zoom in a bit. It is really tough to grab these guys in the sea of people, the sea of marches. So we're going to a long five seconds and we're going to grab our march. And where's it going to come? Or is it the boss? Oh, it's the boss. Oh, I don't, yeah, we're definitely not going to make it in time. <clears throat> now, the boss here spawns twice, once in the middle, once at the end, and he drops gifts. So you'll see the gold one, you get 15 hour speed up. That's going to go quickly. Pretty much everything on here is going to be gone real fast. I thought that was going to be stalkers. So how many more? probably got three more chances of stalkers and then the final boss so we should be able to get the chronicles done it shouldn't be an issue um let's quickly go and as most people know or if you don't know i'll put a card up at the top i farm gems that is how i, I keep my gem supply going the gems in uh, heroic anthem are fantastic i've had no issues finding them i've actually been posting ones that i find that i don't need into alliance chat for other people so there's lots of crystals sorry lots of gems to get um, i keep usually three marches going and then i usually have one march and let's see these guys have kind of moved far away now let's see if i can find a better cluster i use one march to farm barbs with we'll go up here see and there's another gem deposit right there i don't have anyone ready so i'm just gonna post it in alliance chat there we go so i'll go and get those three now when you're chaining barbs you can use a lot of different commanders my favorite of course is richard and ysg now gear is going to help a lot so if you have you know full windswept you're probably not going to be able to do more than one cluster of bars before you have to go back and heal but with the gear i have i can usually do a few clusters before I have to go back, which will reduce my AP usage, which uh, helps in value when you're trying to, you know, l let your AP last as long as you can. Um, Richard and YSG helps, of course. YSG needs to be expertised so that his uh, AOE is circular. That really helps. You can use Lohar and Ethelfled, and I'll show you that on this video. Uh, that's more of a, a free to play kind of way to go at it. So that's definitely an option if you don't have them. Okay, Richard's here and that bar is moving up. This should be no problem getting three. I don't think I'm going to get the fourth one, but three should not be a problem. So we will, we're going to walk into the middle. Of course, that one's walking away now. Shouldn't be a problem though. We're going to hit this 41 here and we'll drag up a little bit that one walked a long ways now you used to be able to pull barbs a long distance before um, you could pull them as far as you could until they died but now Lilith has put in where they have certain areas where they have territory they walk into and if you go outside of that they just walk away 
they'll just forget you, turn around, walk back to the area they're allowed to be in and fully heal. So you'll have to hit them again and it'll just be a waste of a cluster. So you really have to focus on marches that are close together and that will help you not lose your, uh, your AP gain when you're trying to get barbs by pulling them too far. So they kind of nuke that a bit, but you can still, this is great value. You're getting three barbs. All I think have 400 crystals. Yeah, so 1200 for 80 AP is pretty awesome. You're not gonna get that from a barb fort. A barb fort's right now for level 11, and here's one right there, is uh, 2500 crystals. So that it's definitely good value, and this is 300 to rally or 290 if you have the barb um, skill, which is, where's my closest barb skill? Here we go. This one right here that reduces it by 10. Not that great when you're talking about a rally. It should be more of a percentage, but like 10%, that would be awesome. But uh, it isn't, so I'm doing this. And this will definitely help with uh, saving AP, gaining crystals, and moving me along in tech faster so I can keep up with people. Well, let's jump back quickly. How much longer do we have? We've got, okay, we still got a while. And our crystal gatherers are still busy. So we'll just wait for this to finish and then I'll keep an eye on the ancient runes and we'll come back after that. Oh, I could have gotten this. I can still probably get it. Okay. So we did get all of them. That's awesome. That doesn't happen very often, but we get it. And as you can tell with my gear, I'm able to keep up with healing without a problem. Awesome. Well, that worked out good. So we got four in total. Here, how long do we go? Oh, snap. Hit it. Okay, so we got, we should get this one. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> and there's one right in between too. I didn't even see that one. And quickly switch over to this one. Awesome. Cool, I think we got the Chronicle. Yes, okay. So we got the Chronicle. That's good, and our Okay, now we're going to try to do this. I'm going to pull it further than I normally would just to see if I can get it to let go. That shall go on a bit of an angle so that it can keep up and just kind of zigzag. I'm going to keep going this way because I'm probably going to be able to get both of those from right there. So I might have been able to get this one without losing. Am I going to get that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, sweet. So I don't think I'll lose any of them to the, the invisible borders that you can't see, but um, we'll try and get that for the next one, just so I can show you how it works. Okay, here's another little cluster here, and I'm gonna try and hit from the 43, or the, sorry, the 44, grab the 43, and then roll down to grab the 41. I might lose one of these in the walk, but, Let's see what happens. So I'll just go slowly. And thankfully with a, a slower march like Richard YSG with, you know, epic and legendary gear, you move pretty slowly and that bar moved up. So this was not a problem. Another easy grab. These are all 400 each. So 1200 crystals for, what was it? 70 AP. That's not bad at all. Especially when you're talking, you know, 290 to 300 for 2500. So. It really starts to accumulate the more you do it and the bigger clusters you get. It really helps. We'll let everybody know of this. And as you can see in Alliance chat, everybody just kind of points them out for people who are looking for them. They are great to grab the gems. Um, I know they don't count for, and I'm looking for the small things here. Each depletion of a resource point gives you three honor points. So when you're doing four or five gem tiles at 20 to 30 minutes a piece it actually helps like it really does help and if you keep doing that instead of doing you know a level seven food tile that takes an hour and a half two hours it's it's you're getting more honor points so you're not only just getting gems for events you're getting honor points from gathering them it all adds up it's fantastic 
um, my honor. I don't think I will be, I will not be trying to get to first. Um, there's no way the rewards would be fantastic. Uh, what are the rewards here? Lots of, oh, these are beautiful rewards, especially the conquest coin. But I do not believe I have the action point reserve to be able to compete in it. I will try, of course. I will do as much as I can, try and farm barbs. But uh, I don't think I will be in the top 20. Um, I think that's what you need. Let's just take a look here. There's no city skin. I thought there was a city skin for being in the top 20. But, oh well, still great rewards. That must be for light versus dark, those KVKs. But um, yeah, we'll try and get those and we'll just keep at her. I will, uh, next I'll show you Lohar and Ethelflaed and how I can uh, get AOE with that if you don't have Richard and YSG. So here we go. All right, we got Lohar and Ethelflaed here now. We're gonna try their area of effect skill. They don't have great gear. Let's see how Lohar does. Uh, I imagine he'll do fine. I'm definitely gonna pick up that 43. Um, my rage is going to accumulate very quickly here. Let's see. Oh, or did it move just out? Yeah, move just out. So we'll move back a bit. Let's pause. The next skill will go off real quickly. That should get it. Yeah, okay. So we got it. Let's see how my health is after this. Maybe even that 44 wants to come down and join. Let's see. The damage isn't bad because of Ethel Fled. Definitely doing good damage. We got some heals from Lohar. So yeah, it looks like he's doing totally fine. Now, if it was three marches, I don't know. But it was only 70 action points to get two. So that's that's not too bad. Obviously, the best march is going to be your Richard YSG or even Richard Ethelfled would be good because you're going to get more heals. You're going to be more of a tank. I have... Uh, Cavalry with this march, infantry is going to have more health. So it likely is that if you have even Richard at 5511 and Ethel Flood with you with infantry and some decent gear, even if it's just windswept, you're going to be much better off than just using Lohar. It's not much of a tank, um, but he can do it. Especially if you're in like light versus dark or your first KVKs where the barbs aren't this high level, you should be fine. If my tech was higher, then Lohar would be doing better. But um, I still think just because of the level of barbs here, it's not the best option, but it's doable. As you can see, it's totally doable. We're going to beat this one. We'll have to go back and reset the march, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's just check up on Tao Tao and Khan. Almost done here at the Ancient Runes. You want to make sure you stay until the last second in case that's when your honor comes in let's see if it'll pop before we go how long do we got we got 10 seconds no i probably got it so we're probably good yeah one that's it it's bubbled and it opens again in a day and 15 hours and as you can tell by the chronicle here you only get one shot so that's over soon but we got it. That's it. Lohar is almost finished here. And we'll send him back. And that's this is what I do to get as much honor and crystals out of action points as I can. Um, it takes time. If you play a lot, great. If not, you can always just join Barb Fort rallies. Those are great value too. Just make sure you're using peacekeepers, talent trees, so that you're using less action points. It'll help over time. Um, but those are definitely good value. And uh, as long as you have good rally leaders, they're not going to fail very often. Just make sure who you're joining because sometimes people put some random marches in there and uh, never a good idea to join those. But this is all I have for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you like these types of videos, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. If you have any tips, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in.